Upside Up Morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We are enjoying the sun with our baby ducks. Hi, baby ducks. Sophie's baby ducks. I wanted to share them because I love baby ducks. <laughs> oh, don't be mean to Piggy. I touch her and she screams. Well, that's what pigs do. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop being rough with her. I'm pushing her away with force. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> the ducks think that the pig, she thinks there's food in there, Sophie. <laughs> I don't know if she got fed. Usually Sam feeds her in the morning. Usually she tells me when I let her out, she runs right to her food. But today she ran right to go outside to the door. So I think he must have fed her. He's gone to get hay. So I'll ask him when he gets home. But anyway, welcome to today. Last night, I forgot to edit the video. I've been doing this for like, I don't know, 10 years, maybe more. And I forgot to edit the video. Yeah, Sam's home. Did you feed my pig? Yeah. Thank you. Just let her. I can't even lift her, her head up because her she has no neck. <laughs> Just let her explore. She wants to look in the box and see if there's any food. What is this duck? Anyway, I forgot to edit because I had a new grandbaby born last night. She was born five weeks early. Everybody was worried. Like the whole anticipation of it was just a busy, crazy day. And then, and then um, it just threw my schedule off. And then somehow I had a shower and I forgot to edit. Like I literally went to bed not even thinking about me forgetting to edit. I just forgot. And last night was the night that I was supposed to post the uh, trail riding, our trail riding video. So it all just got mixed up. I got a bunch of messages from a bunch of beautiful, amazing women today that said like, what the heck, Laura? Where's your video? Posey! Oh, so, anyway, they're up now. Actually, one's up now. Sam will go in and he'll post the other one. But yeah, no. I literally just forgot. It just was so busy. You have a new grandbaby. She was actually six pounds, 15 ounces, five weeks early. So it is so good that she came early because she would have been huge. <laughs> but anyway, um, I haven't met her yet. She's probably coming home from the hospital today. I'm going to get to go and see her. And I'm so excited about her. She's so cute, you guys. Can you help me today with this mesh stuff? I need, I need Sam to help me put this around my garden. Busy what? I'm a busy person. I'm a busy person too. Aww, I love where he sleeps. We're gonna have to fix this pool, it's disgusting. <laughs> that little chicken. She's like, what in the world is that? Her eyeballs are popping out. Brother's daughter is going to come for a ride today, too, again. Uh, are we going to go on a trail ride? Because if we're going to go on a trail ride, I might ride Penny. These ducks are tiny. Look at how cute they are. Well, that's the biggest one. Aren't they so cute? They're like microscopic. But that's one that turned into a rooster. That little thing. I wondered if he was going to be a rooster, but he looked like a hen. Look at how shady it is back here for them. So that one, and then that one is a rooster. Is it? Yep, it's an Easter egger. These guys are so cute. I'm obsessed. So one thing about baby ducks is that they will latch on to whoever they see first and let them be their mom. Wrong way. <laughs> and they will follow you. I don't think they like me. These ones are four days old. They're supposed to follow her when she walks. Well, I spotted them, so I'm going to sit on my swing. My bucket leaks again. The, the stuff I use on the bucket must not work good with water because it's leaking slowly. So we need a new bucket. But it's already, it's, it's noon and the horses are already too hot. They're inside. Look at how shiny though, holy camoly. And Piggy is locked in here. Good girl. She's behind the gates. Hop in. How are you doing? Hey, did you have a drink? I have nothing. I actually find it hotter in the barn than outside. Gracie's got the right idea. She's over underneath the tree. She's just standing there underneath the tree, eating her, eating the grass. Willow's out here too. 
Sam opened this yesterday. There's not like a lot of hay out here, like a lot of grass. So he let the horses out here, but it was like a little bit high. I don't know if you can see the difference over there. There's some high grass, but they ate this sucker down. Like they ate this down in, in a day. There's some, there's some here too in the shade here, but they ate it down. Like five horses, a lot of, a lot of grass. Anyway, I think they just like the mental break of being out of their paddock and being able to go wherever they want and being able to separate like how Gracie and Willow are out doing their thing. I don't even know where the baby is, but the baby's always doing her thing. She always gets in that field over there. She's pretty much ate that whole field herself. Today is the kind of day that is super humid and super hot. It's only noon and it's already super hot the kind of day that people just want to stay at home do their own thing oh baby see this is what I love I love her just roaming free come on let's go down to the goats but on days like this I have to be really careful with her because she gets sunburned the goats haven't been eating the grass at all hardly at all they do like they will come out and they'll eat it at night when it's not so sunny not so hot but we're gonna let the horses down here and let them eat it before we get a lot of weeds well, hello, little cricket. Isn't she the cutest little thing? I do not like black goats, but I love her. Hello, Winston. All right, so interesting news with our goats. We sold them. We sold almost all of our goats, you guys. It's insane. So we had five goats. Last year, we bought five goats. Sam said that he wanted goats, and he ended up getting five, but we didn't think it through. We should have, like, planned it out better. We didn't really think it through at all. So we ended up with five goats. None of them were registered. We didn't know what we wanted to do with them. We just knew that we wanted them. He wanted them to eat the weeds. They didn't eat the weeds. They just eat a lot of food. <laughs> They're huge hay wasters, but we love them. So we had five when we started and we decided we were gonna go to registered goats. They all had babies and we ended up with, I think 12, 13. We ended up with 13 because we ended up buying two. We bought one from the sales barn. So if he rescued one from the sales barn and then I bought one registered goat. So we started out with five and then we got to 13. And we have been using this season to try and weed out, figure out who we wanna keep and who we're gonna sell. We sold oh, so many goats, you guys. I think we have five left, six. I think we have six left. So we ended up with 13 and now we only have six. So I'm gonna show you guys who we're keeping. We're keeping Tilly. At least we're keeping her this year. We're keeping her just this year because I didn't think that we could sell her and I wanted milk. That's why we I got into goats. I wanted the milk. So we're keeping her this year. She's kind of mean. She's kind of grouchy. She's not awesome to milk, but she has really good milk. And so we're keeping her. So uh, this baby is one that we haven't sold yet. Like he just hasn't found a home and I don't know what's going to happen with him but i don't plan to keep him but for now she has her baby and she's happy she has one baby left obviously keeping blossom blossom is sophie's beloved goat and then we're also keeping her baby who is winston because that is also one of sophie's beloved goats we're keeping lola in the back there see lola we're keeping lola another one of sophie's beloved goats those three will never leave lola winston and and blossom they are sophie's loves our new goat cricket that we bought to show or that at least we bought because she's registered so these are all of our goats i think yeah this is it it feels so lonely and so sad coming out here because i hardly have any goats you guys this is it six goats left this is it we have hardly any goats just this it's so sad even though i know that you can't keep every ant farm animal that you have and even though i knew we would sell like the babies and i knew we would sell goats it was kind of a hard thing for me but we did it really strategically and almost every baby went with another baby so we sold mostly to families that wanted goats and that wanted pets two of the triplets went together to a really good home um and then when i couldn't sell babies together i decided to sell moms with babies so unfortunately rosie went to a new home i wanted to sell her because she's not friendly she's really shy like she's friendly she's just really shy and she went with her two babies so she got to keep her babies and goats love their babies forever and ever and ever so she got to go and be with her babies uh one of the chocolate ones went to 
its own home so one of mocha's babies went to its own home which was kind of sad it didn't have anybody but it had a, another herd to go to and then mocha we sold mocha with her other baby so she got to go with her baby she gets to keep her baby so we tried to do it so strategically so that everybody had somebody so at our house we have tilly and she still has a baby we have mocha or we have blossom and she still has her baby so oh hi look at how friendly hey Look at how friendly Lola is becoming. Lola has Cricket, that's her best friend. Oh, I tried to do it as strategically as I could so that everybody would be as happy as they could be. And I wasn't sad to, to sell goats for my own self. I was sad for them and for the relationships that they built with our other goats. Like I didn't want them to be sad when they left. So it worked out really, really well. Only two goats I think went without, oh, so we sold Rocky you guys we sold so many goats we sold rocky he went to his own home but it was a farm that already had other goats so he'd have like another herd to join and then we sold a chocolate boy without any friends so and then everybody took a friend with them everybody else took a friend with them it's the best case scenario that we could do but we're down to six goats it feels so lonely and so sad it turns out that it feels lonely with just a few goats i'm used to having so many goats it's a lot less work, that's for sure. A lot less hay that they're eating, but I miss them so much. But don't be worried because we have two new goats coming very, very soon. This week we have our brand new buck and I'm gonna show them to you guys. I cannot wait to show them to you guys. He's gonna change everything around here. And then the next week we have, next week or two weeks, um, we have Sophie's new little show goat and oh my gosh, she is the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. Cannot wait to get her. So we'll go back up to eight goats, a lot less than 13, but my plan is that this fall when everybody's selling goats really quickly, like in the fall, people lower their prices and try and dump goats because it's really expensive to keep goats over the winter. So I'm hoping to find a couple more registered goats that uh, like two more registered does, maybe one in milk, maybe one with a baby at its side. I don't know, but I'm hoping to find a couple more registered. I want to buy two more registered goats this fall uh, going into winter uh, to complete our herd for now. That's my plan. It's sad and it's lonely, but it's quiet and it's easy right now. I'm super happy with the shape of our goats this year. Remember last year I kept complaining and complaining about their weight. They've all had babies and they all are a perfect weight. Like I'm super impressed. Even the little blossom here who's just a tiny little thing. I swear she was the smallest of them all and she looks so good. They're all in milk right now. They're both still in milk. So it can be hard for them to maintain weight, but she looks so good and I'm so impressed with her. So impressed with her too. She is not impressed with me though. She does not love being milked. Update on Sophie's horse is that my farrier messaged me back and she is headed out there this week. So excited that it's, she's gonna be out there this week. And as soon as she puts on her shoes, she should be able to come home. But I think, our trailer ramp broke <laughs> so I don't know what Sam's doing about that I think he I have no idea so we have to get that fixed hopefully he can do that this week and we can bring her home come on piggy you got to come in the house with me it's unfortunate but you can't stay down here not today you're too it's too hot come on Another update on my sister's pig. You guys know that the whole reason I got a pig is because I wanted a friend for my sister's pig who's supposed to come here. And I keep talking to my sister about it and he was supposed to come this week. I think this weekend coming up. But I keep saying to her, like, how am I supposed to make my pig sleep in a barn? Like, my pig is, like, nicer than a dog even. Like, she's so fancy. Like, she doesn't like being out in the element she doesn't like the rain she doesn't like the cold like how am i supposed to just stick her in a barn and my sister said how am i supposed to do that to my pig too so i don't know i feel like she's gonna keep him for a while she hasn't said that i just don't know how you love something so much and then stick it in a barn when it's not used to being in a barn when it's used to being a beloved pet if that makes sense okay so you guys know before we decided we don't want guineas i had six eggs in the incubator oh my God, he's so cute. and every single one of them hatched we literally decided that we didn't want guineas and then i've never had a hundred percent hatch rate ever are they all alive that one looks dead oh maybe one died i mean it hatched 
But anyway, yeah, so now we have a bunch of eggs. I don't know if we're just gonna, or a bunch of chicks. Let's look at them. All right, so we don't have 100% hatch rate. We have 90%, one died. <laughs> but these are them. They're the tiniest little things. Look at them. So cute. That one is for sure the cutest. So I don't know what we're gonna do with them. They're already so noisy. That's the cutest one. So I don't know if we're gonna keep them or what's gonna happen. <laughs> we already have a brooder full of stuff, so. Sophie's been pooped on a lot today. Anyway, that's the update on our guineas. They all hatch. They're gonna stay in here for a day or two <laughs> before I move them into the brooder. I really wanna put a little pool up. I love having some place that I can get wet and lay out and suntan, but I don't feel like we have a really good spot to put a little pool. I just want something little. I think like maybe right there so I can float away and just relax during the heat of the day because I love being outside. I just hate when it's so hot I can't do anything. Honestly, I complain about the weather so much. I just want to point out that today is beautiful. Like it's so hot and so humid, but there's a breeze that keeps you cool. Oh my gosh, it's lovely out here. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way